It's regrettable, but the same people who will research for days before buying a new home or TV set are the first to hire a personal trainer directly from a local gym based on the fact that they are simply in shape. Most of those employee trainers have multiple clients and might not be able to give you the one-on-one -on -one personal attention that you paid for. Here's a good example. During busy times, an employee trainer may have responsibilities other than you. So instead of watching you closely to make sure you are using proper technique, they may be talking to the other patrons of the gym. This could lead to forming bad lifting habits or worse yet, an injury. Before choosing one, you need to have at least an idea of what to look for. Just like anyone you want to hire, you should ask for some references from past clients. You should also get an idea of how much they charge and what results to expect from them. Don't just settle for the personal trainer with the lowest price because it fits your budget. You want someone who has experience and have trained people looking for similar results as you. This could mean that you want to lose a few pounds after becoming pregnant or perhaps want to build up your muscle mass. Many times, personal trainers specialize in one or two areas of training. You want to match up their skills with your goals. This type of information is easy to determine and critical for your success. Ask their past clients how flexible were they when it came to rescheduling a workout session. When discussing the cost with your trainer, ask if they offer any type of discount for purchasing multiple training sessions. Are you required to use them in a set period of time or do they have an expiration date?